Welcome, welcome everyone! Today's video is about the Big Mac Seed conversation um, that's been going on with um, Yu-Gi-Oh! community over the past few months. And I kind of wanted to give my take on it, so if you guys are interested, go ahead and like, comment in the video. I would love to hear your take. Um, <laughs> I have a couple examples here and also a video from another YouTuber, so stay to see that, okay? Um, but right away, guys, I just want to come out and say, I think Maxi is fair. Yes, yes, I said it. It is fair. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, <laughs> I do not think that Maxi is as problematic as people claim it is. And my first point, guys, before I get into the other video content, my very first point, the only people that I've ever seen cry about Maxi, the only ones, right, are people who want to go crazy combo deck. Like, they're the only ones that I, at least in my experience, either in the card shop or just online, they're always playing some very crazy high octane deck, and they're the loudest ones to cry about Maxi. <laughs> but I want to get into some other reasons why uh, I think Maxi is not that big of a problem. Um, besides the people who don't like it because they're usually very heavy combo decks, they often say things, well, since the big decks can play them too, it doesn't really help the little guy. <laughs> which was apparently its intended purpose. Um, but my response to that is, well, of course they can play it too, so that makes it just as fair, right? <laughs> it's not about whoever gets the maxi first wins, guys. I've played Master Duel for over 12 months in Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life, and I have never, ever lost a maxi. Or at least I've never used that as an excuse that I lost. <laughs> um, I think Maxi also, guys, opens up a bigger conversation, but I'm gonna try to save that for another video. Uh, I think it, it goes into a lot of deck identity, and that people only want to play it one way, and unfortunately that very specific one way is very vulnerable to Maxi. But I'll save that for a different video, this is just generic Maxi conversation. But usually I see the, um, people who get upset about Maxi a lot, tend to like play like this <laughs> so they often will play boards like this or like just generally speaking honestly not these exact cards right but the people that i see um who want to ban maxi will play with a bunch of negates floodgates or some very restrictive like deck that requires a lot of combos and play styles to get out and at least in my experience guys um, not always like this, but usually there are players who want to vomit monsters out on the board and just keep you from playing. <laughs> to keep any actual interaction between players. And again, this is based on my experience. I'm sure there's somebody out there playing, I don't know, 2005 Dinosaur deck and they use Maxi to help them, but they don't like it going up against a 2005 warrior deck, right? But <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Um, but in what I'm trying to say is that Maxi, it helps everybody regardless of your level, but it does help out the little deck stay alive. It really does. Like, if I'm playing against a player and you play a board like this and I don't have Maxi, well, there's not really a lot of options for me. You could say just draw the out or whatever, but it shouldn't have to come down to that, guys. And again, this kind of links into a bigger conversation about Konami and Yu-Gi-Oh! anyway. Um, I do not like the idea of heavy negate boards or heavy, like, um, restriction of play. That you just can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not for that. But, <laughs> let's get on to our next image here. If you play like this, i am be honest, man. I don't like you. <laughs> I think it's one of the worst play styles. You're not really having an exchange. That's not really Yu-Gi-Oh-ing. So here is another uh, screenshot. I've never um, played against Kashira. I don't know um, how to pronounce it, guys. But my problem with what I'm seeing here, what is it, a full zone lock? Yo, like, how is this fair? How is this more acceptable than, like, 
Maxie. Now, obviously, I heard people don't like this, right? But I had to, if I had to ask those same people or people in general, would you be okay with Maxie coming back to three and this going away? Or this staying here and Maxie staying at zero? And I feel like they would much rather say Maxie, no way. <laughs> so they would much rather get zone locked, right? And I hope and pray they get a kaiju. If they can even, I don't know how these cards work, but um, I hope they can just kaiju stuff off the board. But that's just crazy. Like, how is this in the previous image I showed more acceptable than the Maxi? Like, I don't get it. And here's, here's what I'm going to say about this, guys. When it comes to Maxi, if you plan on just vomiting out monsters like this or like this and stuff, you're kind of digging your own grave, right? I don't think it's cool for you to sit there and want to build like a crazy amount of like summons and stuff and they play Maxi on you and then when you lose next turn, you cry about Maxi. You literally, literally dug your own grave. <laughs> I don't understand that. Like why would you sit there and give somebody 20 cards and then cry because I got 20 cards, right? And then usually, again, they want to end on crazy boards like this. <laughs> At least in my experience. And again, not these exact cards, obviously, but something pretty nasty. And so, whenever I get hit with Maxi, um, I have two options. Play through it and just go, play around it, or just play defensively. My deck can play offensively or defensively, and I'll just play defensively for that turn. <laughs> but a lot of players, they can only think by playing one way, right? And that's the ones that cry the most about Maxi, because that one way is extremely vulnerable to it. <laughs> so, I think again, I think it opens up a bigger conversation about Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole. But alright, on to our next topic. So we have a video here of this player, uh, modern day, kind of modern Yu-Gi-Oh, I think this is kind of old, but as we watch this video, it looks like he's playing Lurlix, um, Fire Brigade? I guess, <laughs> I'm sure you guys can guess where this is going, right? Um, but anyway, I don't like this type of stuff because you're not really allowed to have the exchange, right? It looks like he's trying to lock his opponent out from playing. That's what's going to happen. And so how is this, again, I have to ask, how is this more acceptable than Maxi, guys? I don't understand that. And so, so look, he can't play a single card. People are like, well, they should ban the bird. Yeah, I, I agree. I 100% agree. But my point is, why is this more acceptable than Maxi? See what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me play that again. Like, that's when I've talked to players, um, about Maxi cards. They say, oh, it's just a skill issue, you should just have it out, whatever, blah, blah, but Maxi is unhealthy. This, what we just saw in the other images, that is far more unhealthy to me, guys, than a one-card Maxi where you can play around it. With this, you're not even getting the play. <laughs> you're just getting, like, negated into oblivion. How is that fair? <laughs> And so, again, I just wanted to touch on this and see what you guys think. People say, Maxi, you get the two cards they get. I'm like, dude, you don't have to, like, give them a bunch of cards. Just, you should be able to, if your deck can't play defensively for a turn and not go crazy, I feel like that's a you problem. Like, I really do. Like, you grab the shovel and you're like, well, I guess I'm gonna dig. Now, I'm not saying you have to skip your turn, guys. I'm just saying play defensively. <laughs> or, if you think you can win, push through. But that, what you just saw, that is not fair. So I have this video from this, um, from this YouTuber named Ludwig. He just complains about Maxi a lot. So let's see what he has to say. Oops, wrong video, I'm sorry. Let's see where I put that video. Master Duel needs to ban Maxi. <laughs> this game has been out so for well we over here. a year now. While it's had its share of legitimate improvements and annoying mistakes, there's one thing which consistently <laughs> makes the dueling experience worse. Max C. No! The Earth absolutely is a not. <laughs> I don't think it's as bad at all. Again, I would be surprised what he plays. I would not be surprised if it's one of those decks I mentioned before. A bunch of crazy summons. Let's need to be legal, and I'm going to prove it. 
by going over every single argument I've heard in defense of Maxi and uh -huh. systematically proving them all wrong. Okay. There's a lot of ground to cover, so let's jump right into it with... If it's not broken, you can counter it. I'm gonna start by going over the most common argument I hear, which essentially yeah, boils down to, it, you just draw the out. Maxi is no big deal, I hear. But that's for both sides. Some cards called Ash Blossom and called by. Just use those, idiot. Two things. One, <laughs> every card has counter. It doesn't matter how broken or powerful something seems, there is a way to stop it. I yeah. mean, you can counter Last Turn and Pot of Greed with Ash Blossom. Does that mean those cards are healthy for the game? Of course not. <laughs> Just because a card has counters doesn't mean it should be legal. Now, I agree with his opinion here. Like, just because the counter thing is real, it's both sides, though, guys. As admitted by Konami themselves, is to foster deck diversity. They ban oh, really? the best cards in the game so that players are forced to use something else. Because if the most powerful cards yeah. were never hit, then people would continue playing them forever and the game would get I 100% agree with that. So I actually, this is in the next video I'm going to make about this, but I think Maxi will help with that. It encourages deck diversity, yes, but at the same time, I think the Maxi leads to a bigger conversation about deck diversity. And my biggest thing is people just playing the exact same way, no matter what. And that's a problem. Playing Ash Blossom, you can blame Maxi for that. And we know this because in the TCG, where the bug is banned, Ash Blossom fell out of favor during Sprite and Tier Limit format. It simply wasn't <laughs> impactful enough against those decks to see consistent play. But in Master Duel, since Maxi is in every deck, and Ash Blossom Ash counters Blossom Maxi, it has remained one of the most played cards despite the shifting meta. My point is, the fact that we have two specific counters to Maxi <laughs> is part of the problem. Rather than see a wide variety of cards and strategies, 90% of deck lists start with the same 8 cards, which takes the fun out of deck building and makes the games more predictable and less interesting. Now I agree and disagree with something like that. You can, you can play around Yeah, you can play around it. I disagree with what he said there. You don't have to play all those cards. Like, this is... I don't like the idea of just building a deck to just negate, 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 negate. Like, you can play around Maxi, we're about to get that in a second, but I would like I would like to see Konami move away from a lot of negation guys. ...meaningful decision that will have different outcomes. And maybe that's true if you play the game casually, but at the higher tiers of Yu-Gi-Oh, this is a... Stop summoning an intern! No, 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 cards you don't have the to intern. Resource in this Just... <laughs> the more cards you have, the more you can do. Especially if you're playing a strong deck where every card has the potential to start a combo. In a meta deck, drawing just two cards is a huge advantage, and drawing three uh -huh. or more essentially guarantees that you win the game. Not so if your opponent throws down Max C, playing into it isn't really an option. Even if you That's only summon true, a couple either. of times, you're still probably putting yourself in a losing position. Faced with that reality, you might think you that don't it's go best crazy. to just pass without summoning anything. Wrong! Wrong, wrong, wrong. So that's another thing, too. So both of those points I don't agree with. So, again, whenever I've got hit with Maxi, guys, I have never, ever complained about it. Like, I'm not gonna sit there and give my opponent 30 cards. Luckily, my deck is good enough to where I can play defensively without having a special summon. But if that's all you can do, guys, then of course, that's a major issue, man. The other thing he mentioned is about just ending your turn. Again, no, you don't have to just end your turn. <laughs> this is, you have to be able to do more. You have to be able to do more without going crazy. And so I think this is important about deck identity. I really do. And so you only see people like... I don't know what deck he plays, but he's sounding a lot like the the stuff I mentioned up here <laughs> before, right? The, uh, the stuff up here. You don't have to skip your turn. You don't have to summon a bunch of cards and basically feel like you're about to lose because you gave them 20 cards. Now, you don't get to play Maxi because of it, <laughs> right? But at the same time, I don't know. I just, it's, it's weird to hear these conversations and knowing that, like, I've never been on the end of that. 
<laughs> Only time I see people crying about this, again, are those who want to summon like crazy. And if they can't, they sit there and complain. <laughs> so anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. If you want to watch his full video, um, be sure to check him out. I don't agree with his take on some of it, but the other stuff I can I can get behind, I understand. But I don't. <laughs> I think Maxi is fine. It does keep the little decks alive. It does um, help out the high decks, too. And maybe we should, like, in general, in Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm gonna mention this in my second video, but perhaps it's time we move towards away from just vomiting out a bunch of cards on the board that are basically just the same old negate nonsense anyway. But anyway, I will talk to you guys in the next one, okay? Comment below what you think. Bye!